So this is going to be a very short video on how to pump down your residential split air conditioner. Okay, so I've already pumped down the system because I was going to do a leak repair system of the leak. I found a leak on the inside, an indoor unit. And so I came out here to pump it down. This way I don't have to, I don't have to do the recovery. Right, because this condenser should be able to hold um, all the refrigerant in the indoor unit plus about approximately 50 feet of line set or liquid line. All right, so yeah, I'm gonna show you guys how to pump down your system today, right? D2DNY, real world HVAC simplified. And now, in this video, pump down. So you see here, I have the Allen key, right? This is what I'm using. You can use any old Allen key, Allen key. And this one right here is 316. Okay, put that in there. And make sure you tighten that down, right? So, that's already tightened. Like I said, I've already pumped the system down, but I actually released a little bit of the gas. So I could show you guys how to do that, how to perform a pump down. Okay, so yeah, you're gonna turn, this is a clockwise, all right, all the way until this thing is fully tight, fully seated. Turn all the way down. And then for your suction side, for the suction side, what you're gonna do, you're gonna turn all the way, all the way down with your Allen key. This is a bigger one, by the way. This one is bigger. This is a 5 16th. You're gonna turn all the way because you're starting from the top. When these things are opened, they're, I'm gonna show you from this unit over here. I'll show you what it looks like. So you see, it's all the way up top. Whenever these valves are opened, they're all the way up top. Always remember to put the caps back. So that's what it looks like. Okay. A little bit of nudge. <clears throat> Alright, that's good. That's and snugged. So to do that. Ah. Alright. There you go. So that's when it's open, it's all the way up top. So right here, you know what you're gonna do? You're gonna have this closed almost. You're gonna close it all the way down. Close it all the way down. And then you come back up about so right now I'm all the way I'm all the way down so I'm fully closed. I'm gonna reverse it about you know about 20%. This way by the time the system is pumped down, right? When it's pumped down, I, I can close it off quickly. So, Alright, so your liquid line, liquid line is gonna be fully closed. Fully closed. Fully closed. Fully closed. Okay, now here is the important part. You got to be very careful. So uh, you're gonna remove the screws from the contactor cover, and this is gonna be this got to be pros only. You're not do it yourself, or it's pros. And here's the screws that was in there. These little screws right here. I use my small thermostat screwdrivers. Is this little bad boy right here? Get these screws out. You can use whatever you want, but um, yeah, so now this screws out. It's easier to manually push the contactors in because you have more, more control. So you're going to push that in, you're going to run the compressor until your low side pressure, you're going to run the compressor until your low side pressure is down to about 20 psi or 15 psi. Or if you hear your compressor starts to make a funny noise, then you stop because then you know you don't, you don't want to ruin your compressor right so um, this is the best way to do it or you can wait for your cooling signal or your cool call signal whenever you have all your valves your valves prepped you can use your cool call signal to energize and pull in your contactor if you're not, if you're not comfortable with pushing it in with your hand manually as you can see my gloves got a tear I'll be very careful I don't want to get electrocuted here okay but again pros will be able to handle this with no problem um, 
So you could use your, after you got your valve set up, you can use your cool call to pull the contactor in and then you will be prepared to pull your disconnect switch, like to pull your disconnect switch whenever you're down to say 20 or even 15 PSI or even zero PSI. If the compressor doesn't start to make funny noises, you can keep going until you're down to zero. But I would say if you're at 10 or even 20, that's good enough and then you can like simply just reclaim whatever remaining which is going to be like next to nothing okay so let's go um if you got questions about this leave in the uh, comment section so let's go so i'm gonna go ahead right now get my wrench prepared so i'm gonna close this thing down if i need to all right right there so this is already closed closed fully seated it's fully front seated it's fully front seated now let's go push this contactor in my compressor and my fan is going to start and I'm pumping down that's all turned off so once the low side gets down to the compressor sounds normal right now it's normal That's it guys, I just pull, pull all the gas into oh. I just shifted the condenser a little bit, too much strength Alright, so there you go If I remove this hose right here That's just, it's pretty it's empty Just a little bit of vapor And that's that I'm not really venting on camera, that's, that's really nothing. Okay. So as you can see, that's really, there's nothing there, right? That's little, 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 just a little bit of air or vapor, refrigerant left on the, in the indoor unit and pipes. You could open this up to your recovery tank, as you can see there, and, and pull it out. But at this point, it's so minuscule, it doesn't make any sense. It's like, I would say ounces right that's just ounces it's not even probably like two maybe three ounces that's it if that much because you got all of it out you got all of it pumped down into the condenser so right now all the refrigerant is behind this valve right here it's behind this valve and behind this valve in your condensing unit that's it it's pumped down no recovery didn't have to use that now I can go inside and uh, do my repairs on my indoor coil. And if you got, a, if you have a leak on your line, you gotta do any repairs on these pipes. And in, anywhere from between here to your indoor units, you can just do that. This option right here, pump it down. Once you're done, you pull a vacuum, pull a vacuum on your lines on your indoor coil, and then open your valves. That's it.